Hey and welcome back people, this is Chris from Chromonaut. I am the sound designer of the Arkham Chronicles and I'd like to take you on a new journey into sound. In this episode, the sound of windmills. Let's have a look and listen to the final audio mix from the show. Okay, let's stop this for a moment. Sound design is about imagination and taking a sound apart into pieces. As you probably know, windmills are somewhat hard to find, so I had to come up with other stuff that, when combined, at least makes the impression of being a windmill. So let's turn back time and see how it all came together. Let's listen to the isolated sound of the windmill in my audio software. As you can see, there are four layers of sound. This means I combined four ingredients to get something that sounds like a windmill. Additionally, I used two plugins. A pitch shifter that lowers the sound of recordings like this to make them sound larger and an equalizer to cut off the high frequencies to complete the illusion of a huge turning object. But let's bypass them for now and let's turn back time even more to the place where I recorded the sounds. Ah, the Swiss mountains. I get a lot of sounds actually from this place and many sounds ended up in the Arkham Chronicles as well cold, sharp wind, there's a nearby iron forge for clingy metal sounds, and lots of wood and old barns. And that's exactly what we need! Windmills, wooden sounds! Let's get started. Ingredient 1 for a successful windmill sound. An old barn door. Like this one. Let's listen to the sound it makes. Now let's switch back to my audio project. You're now going to hear the isolated barn door. As the windmill turns, I repeat variations of the sound. I layered the repetitive opening and closing of the barn doors with a second barn door recording where I slowly open the door while it squeaks. Let's listen. Ingredient 2 for a successful windmill sound. An ordinary duvet, like this one. Just point the microphone at it and shake it in the air. I use this for the sound of the cloth used for the windmill sails. Now on to the third and final ingredient for a successful windmill sound. A butter churn. Who would have thought, right? And again, let's go back to the project. But that sound obviously sounds tiny and too high pitched. So this is where my plugins come in again. The pitch shifter. And the EQ. Let's first listen to all the sound layers together as they are now, from the raw material. And now, first enable the pitch shifter and then the EQ to hear what effect they have on the sound. Watch me removing the bypass setting.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode of making windmills using a barn door, a blanket and a butter churn. And again, as always, all that's left for me to say now is... Keep your ears open and your nose sharp.